Hey guys, I was at the Dallas Guitar Show sacrificing my life to try to bring stuff back for you guys. And, uh, you know, one thing I will tell you is that the prices were up at the show, and I think that prices, because of the supply chain issues and stuff like that, um, everybody was asking more, but we always try to bring back as much good stuff as we can and try to keep the prices as reasonable as we can. But the really good stuff was going for more money, so just be prepared. But we got some really good stuff. We got some player stuff, uh, so I hope you like it. And uh, we've got uh, our buddy over here, Civil War Randy. And we got Donald Huggins over here, Petey's brother. You know, usually uh, Frankie D used to take our stuff back. Uh, Frankie was at the show uh, greeting friends, but Frankie's a cancer survivor and he's just not able to uh, do some of the stuff that he used to do. So, and Petey, uh, you know, has because of uh, his diabetes, is going to have to have a hip replaced, we think. So uh, he was unable to do it. So we got Donald over here, and we got Civil War Randy. One thing I want to tell you about Civil War Randy, we are trying to get him cast in a Civil War movie. This guy is the most authentic Civil War kind of guy that you could ever get. So Randy, just you know, for the people, I want you to say, I need more bullets for my musket, and I need some water for my horse. I need more water for my horse, and I need more biscuits. Not biscuits. <laughs> Bull biscuits. Uh, is that it? All right. Oh, he's not giving a biscuit. This is what? That, that's Joel. That's Joel. And there's no it. ends on it. Unless yeah. you want me to pull a guitar out. No, no. You pull it out if we're going to have to hit somebody over the exactly. head. Exactly. This one we can uh, pull out. This is another lovely oh, one right God. here. This is a K uh, Vanguard 3 pickup. You know, it's kind of cool and it's kind of kitsch and, you know, it's uh, the three pickup version. Uh, but this isn't what we normally do, but yep. this was part of the deal. Here we go. All right. I got it on. I'll grab it. Oh. All right, lay it on me, big boy. All right. They're good at that. Now let's get the rest of these on covered. I know I look better in a mask. I know. You look better without the mask. I do. Yes. You better get you your eyes checked. That norm? Well, this is a about a 71 Rosewood. Rosewood Telecaster, like the George Harrison guitar, and it's a real cool one. And we got to just set it up and dial it in, and uh, there it be. So this is uh, they made very few of these, and they're highly collectible. And this is an original one from back in the day. So we'll show you some more stuff as we start pulling stuff out. All right, guys, so this is a really nice, clean, 1960 two-tone sunburst hardtail strat. And this is a really nice example. A little bit of wear, but, you know, just a very, very nice guitar. And I love hardtail strats. This is a slab board, as you can see. And what I mean by that is the fingerboard is a little thicker. It's got the extended lamination. And uh, it's just one of the very first of the Rosewood fingerboard strats. Prior to this, they were uh, maple necks, one-piece maple neck. 
So very cool guitar in its original case. I paid too much for it. Now you can too. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. We'll, we'll pull a few other things out here. That I, just that I think would be of interest. So this is a 1968 Gibson Dove. What's unusual about it, it is in two-tone sunburst and the, and the brown sunburst, because usually they're cherry sunburst. This is a replaced guard. Other than that, the guitar is very clean, maple uh, sides and back. Even has some of the original hang tags that came with it. And just a really beautiful instrument. Uh, today's Tom Petty's birthday, and uh, you know the guitar that he wrote a lot of his tunes on was a, a late 60s Dove. So, very similar, and just an amazingly clean example. Wow. In its original case. Um, This is a guitar that I paid too much for. This is a 1970 Orange Label 335. This is actually a Guild case. But look at this thing. This thing is stunning. And if I could open it, you would look at it. Wow. This guitar is almost like new. Oh my God. And the color is gorgeous. Wow. It's an orange label. Uh, you know, something like this, you know, I had to step up and pay for it because I know there's some people that shop with us that are willing to pay more for something that's just so exceptional. I couldn't let this one go by. I just had to have it for the store because we got so many people that want the best of the best. It doesn't get much nicer than this. It does have an orange label and it has the volute in the Made in USA. So this is uh, um, the very end, 1970 of the orange label guitars. And just didn't get much nicer than that. That's, this is, okay, so this is actually one of my favorite guitars. This is a 1955 or six, um, L5 CES with the Al Nico pickups. Wow. Oh and this God. guitar was factory refinished in 68. Um, you know, if I didn't say something, people wouldn't know that. But this guitar is stunning, stunning, stunning. Wow. And one of the nicest ones, if you like those Al Nico L5s, this is one of the most beautiful guitars ever in amazing condition. And it was a factory refinish in 68, which most people wouldn't know, but I'm saying it, just really beautiful. So, let's see. Norm. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. So this is a 1966 Fender Strat. Whoa. Um, now this is a subjective call. I believe it's ocean turquoise, but you know, Lake Placid Blue when it fades can kind of fade into kind of an ocean turquoise. So, um, you know, I'll let you guys choose because there is some blue over here and um, just a very cool custom color strat right at the cusp just when CBS took over. And uh, it's wow. a really cool guitar and got some wear on it, but it's uh, one of the ones that somebody's gonna love this baby. And again, I had to pay a little bit too much for it, but uh, I'm gonna try to keep the prices as close to being the normal prices, but you had to be at the show to see what was going on. Everything was just kind of jacked up over there. So I had a choice of either going on strike and not buying stuff or buying some cool stuff and bringing it back for my customers. So here it is. Yeah. Yes. 
So this is rather cool. This is a early 70s, I think a 72 Fender Telecaster bass. But it's cool because it's in a custom color candy apple red. That's so sick. And, uh, you know, you don't usually see these in colors. Um, they're usually just, you know, the blonde or sometimes sunburst. Um, it's got a guy's name scratched in over here. But uh, just a very cool bass and a very rare bass. You never see these in colors. So, candy apple red. Telly bass, and we'll do a. It's amazing. Uh, thumping Thursday with this guy. Yeah. And uh, let's see. So this is a really cool guitar. This is a 1968 Johnny Smith double pickup in blonde. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And the Johnny Smith was similar to the L5, a little bit thinner, had the uh, squared off um, fingerboard where the L5 has that lip so that the pickups can actually, um, this is a double pickup, they made a single pickup also, mm -hmm. uh, so the pickup can attach and all that. And really cool guitar. And one thing that's cool about Johnny Smith's is um, in the late 60s, they didn't narrow the necks on these because Johnny Smith didn't want those narrow nuts. So this feels like an early 60s guitar. It's just stunningly beautiful. Um, I'm very partial to these. And uh, so it's a spruce top, gold parts. These are floating pickups. So these pickups are not mounted in the body. And what's really cool about them, you get more of an acoustic sound and uh, just really cool guitar. Um, got the Johnny Smith tailpiece, which is similar to the L5. Um, a thing of beauty. So what we're gonna do is, that's a little teaser for you guys. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do more stuff for the All Guitar Network so that you guys can look at that if you want to uh, see some more of the stuff that we bought. And there's a lot of cool stuff. So, uh, as I say, you know, I risk my life going down there, but, you know, it's, it's really important for me to make sure the store has cool stuff in here, and I want you guys to be able to, uh, you know, pick through some of the best stuff that's available. And, unfortunately, we have to pay a little more for it, but I'm trying to squeeze my profit margin down a bit so that the prices are still within reason. But if you look online, you'll see the prices uh, of a lot of stuff. Our stuff is very reasonable in comparison to a lot of stuff online. So anyhow, we love you guys. Thank you guys for watching our videos. And, uh, you know, I hope that, uh, you know, you stay safe and continue watching our videos. Love you guys. <laughs> oh.